everyone, it's me, Lindsay, with Equip Me OT, here today to talk about brace management, and more specifically, how to manage a back brace. These are commonly used following various back surgeries, procedures, or injuries, and the one I'm wearing today is not the exact brand, but a very similar brand that is commonly used for a thoracic or lumbar surgical procedure. Now, my goal of this video is to explain to you how to take the brace off safely and how to put it back on from a seated position. Now, it's very important that you know what your specific restrictions are following your back injury or surgery because they're all going to be very based on what your surgeon has cleared for you to do. But I find that the vast majority of individuals have some clearance to remove the brace when safely seated. Now, there's a bunch of things that you wanna make sure you do before you take that challenge on, so I wanna make sure you are set up correctly. Another thing you wanna make sure you know is what your brace looks like when it is on correctly. And the best way to do that is when you have your brace fitted, by the professionals, whether that's your rehab team or the surgical team or whoever puts the brace on you for the first time and it's fitted properly, take photos. It's a really good idea to have some photos on your phone that you can reference to look at the lengths of the straps, to look at kind of how it looks on your body front and back so that when you take it off and put it back on, you have a reference point to know if it has been done correctly. So that's just a little tidbit that will help a lot when you go to take your brace off for the very first time. So the next thing I wanna talk about is how you are going to sit, where to sit, what type of setup is best. I like to have most of my clients have their first seated back brace removal on the edge of their bed. And the reason for that is it's a comfortable position. Usually the cushion underneath their bottom feels really good from the mattress. And the other reason is oftentimes when we're taking the back brace off, it's for a few reasons. One of them being hygiene, to do a quick sponge bath under the brace, wipe off any sweat, perspiration, dirt, anything that may be uncomfortable. The other reason could be that you're changing a shirt. So putting on a, a fresh undershirt underneath your brace, again, a good place to do that is sitting on the edge of the bed. And the last reason why you may be taking your brace off is to check your incision. So if you've had a surgery and there's an incision that needs to be evaluated, you're going to wanna do that in a position where your back is fully open and available. The other seat that I do often use is a shower chair. Now I would use a backless shower chair for this because you can set the height really comfortably and that works pretty well too, especially for things like hygiene. Another thing I like to add is to make sure that when you're seated edge of bed, that you are sitting as close to a 90 degree angle at the hips and knees. So I actually am using on the floor here, I don't know if you can see this, but this is a stair stepper. This is a, um, an exercise stair stepper. They're really affordable and you can adjust the height of them pretty easily. They're very stable and they make an excellent choice to give your body a little bit better positioning so that I have the nice 90 degree angles for best comfort and to keep yourself stable while you're managing your brace. So that I said again, I usually slide these under my patient's beds and then we pop them out for doing this type of activity and then set them up just like this. So let's go ahead and start the process of removing this brace. Now, as you can see, this brace has the thoracic component. If your brace doesn't, you can ignore this initial step, but for some, this is going to be what you have to do. I start by taking off these straps. First things first, you wanna locate these little clips on the side and you're going to loosen it. You want this upper part to be loose in order to remove it because it's going to make getting it back on again much, much easier. So these two little belt straps here, you're going to just loosen them up and then you're going to unclasp this center piece and it removes just like a backpack. So each strap comes off and see how easily that comes off when I've loosened them ahead of time. I still have a good amount of support in my back and I'm just gonna kind of sit here for a second, make sure I've got my posture tight so that when I do take off this lower portion, especially if this is the first time taking it off, you may find that your core is pretty weak. You're just gonna kind of tighten those abdominal muscles a little bit to try to hold your body in a nice, upright, stable position. So the next thing I'm gonna find are these two little clippy, they're like little Velcro pieces and they cross in front of the brace. I'm going to grab each one, just like this, just like that. And what I like to do so that I don't lose them because they're dangling down at the side and they can get caught up with the other straps is now I just stick them back, not crossing each other so they're not interfering with the center belt. I stick them back on either side. They just stick to the Velcro, they're out of the way and they're not dangling down. Now I'm going to take and remove the center piece. Just like that, lower it down. <sighs> take a deep breath, feels really good to just kind of sit here for a moment. Make sure you feel stable 
And if this is all you do for the first time is just take a couple of deep breaths before putting the brace right back on, that's okay too. It's really a comfort measure. The brace oftentimes gives you a lot of security. Some people have a lot of anxiety about this process, so take your time. Do it as short a time as you can tolerate or a little longer if you need to have a task done. But what I like to do at this point is just kind of move it around to the side. I'm not going to twist. I'm keeping my shoulders and hips all aligned throughout the process. And I can just set it aside and have somebody assist me with the back tasks that may need to be done at this point. Now let's go about putting it back on. So I actually start with the brace on my lap for this because at most points the brace is out of my view. I can't twist to look at it. So I'm gonna just set it in front of me here like this and just double check that the straps aren't twisted, that everything looks okay, kind of move the straps around, make sure everything's where I need it before I go to put it back on. Now again, because of this thoracic piece, I'm going to start by putting on these backpack-like shoulder straps. And because I loosened it up, I should be able to do this without twisting, and I'll show you how. So I'm simply going to start by putting it over one shoulder, just like this. And I'm just going to kind of use the back of my arm here against the side of the brace to kind of push it around the back. Now this is going to assume that you have a decent amount of shoulder mobility, but because the back straps are nice, or the shoulder straps are nice and loose, I don't have to move my shoulder too much. And then I'm just going to, you notice I'm keeping my eyes straight ahead because it's much easier not to twist if my eyes are looking straight ahead. And now all I'm going to do, I'm not going to tighten these shoulder straps yet. I'm just going to find the chest clip and I'm going to clip it in place. That will keep them from falling off while I do the rest. I won't tighten these until I get a little bit farther along in putting the brace on. Okay, so now I'm going to locate the bottom portion of the brace. And all I'm going to do is take a deep breath in. The reason I take a deep breath in there is I want to have my lungs full to know that I can take a deep breath with my brace tight. That's really important. You don't want to over tighten your brace so that you can't take a good deep breath. That's so vital. All right, now I'm going to identify these lower straps here, which I stuck in an easy to grab spot, just like that. They're meant to put your thumbs in like this. I'm gonna take another deep breath in and I'm gonna drive straight forward with these two straps. And then I'm gonna cross. You want these to cross over without having to twist your body and you want this, the, the rope to go across the actual brace, just like that. Now I'm gonna locate these two straps, which I loosened ahead of time, these two straps here, and I'm going to pull straight down. Just like that. You might have to tighten here a little bit. Now I am fully into my brace. And at this point, I wanna take one additional step to make sure that everything is tight. Because from the seated position, this feels really good. But remember, when you stand up, the brace might feel a little bit looser. So it's really important that you test it from a standing position as well. So I'm going to move my step out of the way here. Just kind of slide it over. I'm gonna to come to a very gentle stand. Really easy here, and it does. It feels a little bit loose, so I'm simply going to readjust by pulling these straps just a little bit tighter, and then read applying them on either side to make sure it is fully tightened and I feel really secure. You can adjust here and here, and we're in and we're safe. Now the brace is on, we're back to business. I'm gonna sit back down here for a second. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And as always, if you need more information on how to stay safe and independent in your home and community, consider subscribing to Equip Me OT. Thank you.